Good morning. It's great being able to speak to you at the beginning of this week, especially without a mask. So this week we'll be looking at God's permanent presence and our trust in him. I'm sure you all remember Daniel and the lion's den from Sunday school. I still remember the coloring pictures of a man standing next to lions colored in yellow because there wasn't any other color. But did we ever understand more than just the fact that God made sure the lions did not eat Daniel? I came across a Sunday school song which shows how we understood it. I don't know the tune, so I won't be singing it, but the words say a lot. The lions weren't hungry last night, O king. The lions weren't hungry last night. Praise be to God that we know more than that. God was with Daniel before the den, during the den episode, and after the den. None of this happened by chance. Daniel was a faithful follower of God a Jew that had been brought into the Babylonian king's court after the the collapse of Jerusalem, mostly because he was handsome. There he stayed true to his faith and refused to eat anything that was served by the king because it was against the Jewish laws. He continued to pray to God He trusted that God would look after him and protect him. He fully trusted God. Daniel underwent strict training in the king's courts with his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They did well and they were at the top of their class. They were supported by God all the way. This is where Daniel's life in the king's court began. And so today we need to understand that if we were to look at Daniel's life in the Babylonian king's court as being normal, everyday life, where he got up for breakfast as usual, went to work as usual, did his shopping as usual, and when asked how everything is, he answered with a very normal, it's fine. Then we need to take note that in this everyday normal life, just how much Daniel wanted to have God be a part of his life, and just how much God wanted to be a part of that side of Daniel's life. The first thing we need to recognize about this amazing story of Daniel is that it starts off with a very ordinary man who was just faithfully attempting to do life while at the same time making sure that he was very faithfully living that life with God by his side, knowing that God was with him. We need to be honest with ourselves as we start yet another week, especially as we are starting to get used to this thing we are calling the new normal. It is in the normal times of life that it is probably the easiest to ignore God to forget about him. Oh, everything is going great. So let me prioritize my work projects. Let me prioritize my fun times. Let me prioritize my exercise time. Because really all is good. And so it's not like I really need God at this moment. But not Daniel. He walked with God when things were good, just as much as he will call upon God when things get really bad. 
And so this morning, as you start a new week, how faithfully do you walk with God when life is just normal? Let us pray. Lord, thank you for the new week that we can fully trust that you will be with us throughout this week in the normalness of our lives. Help us to stay true to you before we even find ourselves in circumstances where we have been taken out of our comfort zones. Let us realize that you are always with us, that we are never alone. Amen.